Hi, this is AG Dolls Rock Cats 101, and I'm going to show you how I made my printer for My American Girls. And the girl that wanted me to make it was DJ Love 1421. She commented on my channel and wanted me to show her how I made the printer. As you can see, like there's a kind of a slant here, and like I started with like a piece of cardboard that was flat. I taped the back to it so it could be the back. And with this, I bent this so it was like rounded on like a table edge. It's like straight and kind of like, a, not like sharp, but like a pointy table edge. So it was like this. And then all you do is cut a little notch type square out. Like that. I should probably put this better. So it looks like that, and it's kind of like bent, curved, kind of like that. And this is thinner cardboard, and it's a lot easier to use. And then I cut a piece of cardboard to match the top. So it's like, so it can control on the bottom, so when it stands up, so like, it'll be like, high up. And then you tape the, like this side down, and in the back you can tape this part down. Okay, I've taped the back and the front, and I've cut the front like the whole bit bigger because my first one was a little bit better. And I really don't know why, but I'm having troubles with the front of this one. And now on the sides, you want to cut like a piece of cardboard that fits so that you can cover both sides of the um, printer. Okay, I've put the two sides on. And you can see like this one went on a lot better. This one I kind of had troubles with. But it kind of is. This one's a bit bigger, because I had to cut this one down a bit, because the cardboard was kind of funny. But like, you can make, see how this one's a little smaller, but you can make like, any size you want. And this is just showing you how I made it. And then I painted it all black, all the way around. I didn't paint the bottom, though. I left the bottom. And then I made a little piece of flap. All I took was a piece of cardboard. I just got to get the length of the and just stick it in and however far you want it out you just can cut it off anywhere so like you tape it in and you get some tape so you can just tape it on the inside And then you just can cut off. That's not very straight. But you get the, the point and then you have like the little end that sticks out. And then for paper, I used like note cards. They are just cut in half so that are like old and they're just turn over on the white side. So they have a nice little stack of papers that fit right in there like that. And for the buttons, I just took some paint and this pencil you can tell I've used. I this pencil you can tell I've used because I dug it in white paint because I made like the little X and that. But the little green button like on computers I took a pencil and I also took I have a little a little nail and I kind of like scraped it around with the black so I could get like a nice outline and then like the buttons it's not very clear on the camera but I'm just going to make it a little clear so you can see it better okay I got it a little clearer if you look at it from here and then you just can 
paint that black and that's why I made my printer but this one's a little bad because uh, I'm usually better at everything the first time and when I try to make it the second time it turns out worse but that's why I made my printer and it looks like my printer that's what my printer looks like and I tried to copy the little buttons here there that's how I made my printer so I hopefully that you can try to make one as good, maybe better than my second one, because my second one's kind of bad, but thanks for watching. Bye.